Hello. Camera on. Recording. All right, we're back. It's me again. So, the food. Apparently, I generated some controversy last night. Uh, I, they, Belvita, Nature Valley makes these things. They're, they're, they call them biscuits, I think. Uh, but basically, it's like a cookie sandwich. It's a, it's kind of a breakfast bar cookie sandwich thing. It's, it's oats and, and whatever filling. And, and I've got some that are peanut butter and some that are almond butter. The almond butter ones are fucking amazing. But uh, they're filling. They're very filling. They're not like crazy on calories. And they're good, right? One of them on a work, like when I'm going to work, I'll eat one on my way into work and, and it keeps me good until noon-ish. Uh, God. I, that is nuts. I knew the scenery was going to be nice, but wow. Now, I like the clouds for That's over the top of a mountain, I think. Um, those things are like a dollar a piece. Or maybe a little less. It might be 75 cents to $1.50 a piece. Somewhere in there, right? And that's going to be breakfast. Now, I brought enough to have two a day uh, in case I, I want a snack. Or, you know, if I eat one and it's really not quite good enough... Um, I can eat another one for breakfast, you know, and I've got the coffee. So I get, I get kind of a warm breakfast, kind of, uh, to get you going. And then for lunch, I, oh, I, uh, decided I wanted something that I know, you know, I, I, I thought about putting feelers out saying, hey, here's what I'm doing. What do you suggest I eat? Because I know some people are real big and like nuts and, and dried fruits and stuff like that. And lots of granola. You know, Dodge Rider was telling me to use a lot of, to eat like nuts and dried fruits and uh, granola bars or power bars or protein bars or some shit. I don't remember. Uh, which he's not wrong. Um, but... I have a hard time doing something new, like when you have to commit to it, uh, and when you have to pack everything onto a motorcycle, you kind of have to commit. And I remembered um, way back in the day, on our very first trip to Deals Gap, uh, Jasper23 rode with me in the truck, and we bought a jar of Goober. A knife and a loaf of bread and that's what we ate on the 16 hour drive to from uh, well actually it's about a 20 hour drive to Deals Gap from San Marcos and he wasn't really okay with it but to me see I, I've always liked peanut butter jelly sandwiches and they're very easy um, I fully intend to pull off at a rest stop and, and like sit down and, and make a couple of sandwiches so I took a, you know two or four slices of bread stuck in, each in a uh, plastic baggie per day so I've got uh, three or four baggies worth of bread and a jar of goober and some uh, popsicle sticks to use as knives that I can throw away they also make good coffee stirs by the way uh, so that's going to be lunch and you know it's it's not fantastic, but it is tasty. Uh, the jelly, somebody was like, oh, well, you have to refrigerate jelly after you open it. I believe you do, but I do know that it will still hold, you know, it's not going to kill you <laughs> to eat jelly that has sat out for a day. Uh, the worst part is that because it's, it was laying sideways in the, in the saddlebag, uh, it's all, oh man, there's waterfall down there. Uh, it's, it's all like collected, <laughs> it's shifted, because it was really freaking hot yesterday. But that's okay. And then for dinner, 
I bought four packages of chicken flavored ramen at a quarter each. So I've got four days worth of dinner for one dollar. Now, I actually like the taste of chicken ramen. Uh, I don't know why, but you know, if, if you do it right, it's pretty damn good to me. Ooh, somebody ate shit. Uh, I, I'm not going to say I like it. Well, no, I kind of do like it. I, I just don't go out of my way to eat it because it's not good. Uh, but it is by far the best kind of ramen, and it's not bad either. So all of this fits into a lunchbox that is in my side case back here. And last night, just trying to be funny, I uh, posted a picture of the chicken flavor packet from the ramen. And you know, the remember the from the 80s, it was like beef, it's what's for dinner. I just put it in, in the picture caption, I was like, it's what's for dinner, oh shit. Or, oh wait, that's beef. Shit. <laughs> and dear God, I had one friend who started ragging on me. She, oh, you need to eat real food. And she started, and I told her, I was like, I'm fine with what I've got. She didn't even know I was on a trip, you know. I said, no, nah, it, nah, really, I'm, I'm okay with it. She started listing all these other foods that she thinks taste good and, and she likes. And most of them didn't really sound appealing to me because I'm not big on spiciness, and she is. And, uh, and I'm sitting there going, are, are you sitting there trying to make me hungry, like make me regret what I decided to bring for dinner? What the shit? If I was struggling so much that I had to deal with ramen, that would be a real asshole thing to do, you know? Now... I made the choice to bring this kind of ramen because I, I like it. The oriental flavor is not bad. The uh, shrimp stuff is not bad. The beef sucks. But it's not bad, you know? And, and I told her, she's like, well, you need to try this and this and this. I was like, I'll eat what I want to eat. Thank you. And she said something else, and I kind of wanted to go, you know, if you're trying to make me hungry, you're failing, and I highly doubt that what all this shit you listed actually tastes that great anyway. Never mind the fact that there's no way in hell uh, I could pack it all. I mean, she's talking about like hamburgers and shit, and I was like, yeah, yeah, because I can pack everything needed to make a hamburger and a motorcycle. I can. I'm not going to have any room for clothing or, you know, the utensils to cook with or anything like that. But she wouldn't know anything about that. And of course, she didn't bother to ask why I was eating ramen. She just told me I was doing it wrong. And then another friend of mine, she, who kind of understood it, um, she came back and she's like, what the hell, dude? You've got a real job. You need to eat real food. And, and I told her, because I, I knew what she was getting at. Um, I told her kind of what was going on and she's like that's why you I told her I was I was on a road trip and she's like well that's why you need to eat out what the shit and she's like wait a minute I'm starting to sound like your mother isn't that what friends are for and, and, which was funny and, and I'm okay with that uh, but I told her I was like yeah I'm trying to do it cheap you know and, and the way I've got it all worked out I think I spent like 15 bucks maybe on food for three or four days. Actually, it wasn't even that much because the goobers were like five bucks. The ramen was a dollar. Yeah, okay, so we'll call it 11 bucks for four days worth of food. I'm okay with that. It's just, I think it's kind of interesting how quickly people can get up in arms about stuff that frankly they don't know anything about you know and I just noticed I was in fifth gear I wonder how long I've been riding in, in fifth gear instead of overdrive Oi. I'm also wondering how long I could I would take to make this ride during the fall because that would be kind of neat 
probably be pretty damn cold, though. Recording stopped. Goodbye.